Hi everyone, I've had quite a few views and comments on my videos about my web camera so I thought today I'd make another one which shows you how to get the best quality out of it uh, when you're using Windows Movie Maker because it's the settings that you have to use are not that obvious um, if, you, if you don't have much experience with digital video so I thought some people might find this useful so the first thing you do is go to capture from video device in the main window this brings up the window where you select your camera and your microphone this camera there's a microphone and then on the right hand side of this window you go to the configure button which brings up the settings for the camera and this brings up in this window uh, we need to go to both of these but first of all let's go to camera settings and the settings we're interested in are in the advanced tab here and the most important one is that you automatic gain control needs to be switched off and the exposure needs to be set at 1 30th of a second or lower so it's okay if it's down here in these low settings but if if it's up here then that's no good because if it's set to higher than a 1 30th of a second then the camera can't do its maximum frame rate which is 30 frames a second and that's the most important thing for making the video look good I think uh, for the gain for me it's best to be set at the maximum of 10,000 but you can experiment with that so now we go into the other setting here video settings the other page and it's, it's important to set these three in the right order because if you set them in the wrong order then setting one of them resets the others to the defaults so do it like this uh, the first one is color space um, now I'm not certain what the best setting here is uh, I don't know enough about how the image of the camera work to know whether RGB 24 would be better than i420 but I have a feeling that i420 is probably how the camera works so that's what we're going to use Uh, next up we set the output size and again we're trying to get 30 frames a second and the best size that you can do that at is 640 by 480 and then we set the frame rate to 30 which is the maximum then we close that window and we've done here so we can close this one too go next, go to the next page here we just set the file name and where we want to save the video <clears throat> now this window is important as well uh, you might think that best quality for playback on my computer would be the best but uh, unfortunately no Microsoft tells you horrible lies um, I think the best is to actually go to other settings here and to choose the high quality video brackets large which sets to 640 by 480 and it sets it to variable bitrate which means that it'll use as much data as it can uh, to, to save all the video that you're recording then on the next page you'll see a preview this one's just blank in this video because of the way I'm recording this uh, this video when you're ready, you click Start Capture. Then just look at the camera and wave your hand about a bit, and then stop capture. So now we've uh, recorded the video. I'll show you how to uh, export it at a high quality as well we'll just drag it down here we shan't bother editing it since it's only five seconds long and we want to go to save to my computer now we just put in a file name and here again we have to make a decision about the quality again best quality for playback on my computer probably won't be the best as possible I'd recommend a high quality video small 
because that uses a, the size 320 by 240 which is what videos on YouTube will be uh, all videos on YouTube are at 320 by 240 and as you can see the frames per second is set correctly at 30 now if this was a long video we could use this fit to fit to file size thing but because this is a short video it only goes up to 2, megabit, two megabytes which doesn't particularly help us so we're just going to keep it this high quality video small then we click next video uh, encode and we're done Beautiful.